Good morning. It is time for a little Tuesday tutorial. It's makeup time. You ready to do a look with me this morning? My name is Sally Davis, and I'm super excited to share with you today a look with man. It's got some bright lips. It really does. We went bold on this week's look, and what I love about it, timing wise, is that outside these windows it is dreary it is cold there is snow on its way here in indiana and so i'm excited to bypass what's going on outside with a little spring and summer on my lips so that's what we're going to do today i'm calling it poppy please based off of the lip color that we're going to be using woohoo um but we're going to start with our eyes the lips will be the finishing touch so ready to get started I'm going to start always, always, always with eye primer. This is just a two color look. We're, um, as far as the colors going on our eyes, we're using two colors a great mascara and liquid eyeliner. And the liquid eyeliner lets us get a sharp line, it's waterproof. So we love that. And the, the, it lets us get a bold look from it. But what I love is, the eye look could go super classic or super funky. And you could do it either way with a flick of the wrist making the difference. So I'm going to go funky route today to show you something new. Um, but it could definitely go way more classic. And I'll share some ways that you could do that. So we're going to use two eyeshadow shades today. Right over here, we have Rustic and Gold Status. Now we're going to start the look with Rustic on our lid and into our crease. Now, if you wanted to do a lighter look, you could do it flip-flop and do gold status on the lid and in the crease. And so maybe I'll do that look another, um, take photos and share that with you because I think you could take these colors and pop them in, and really get four looks, too classic, too funky, just with these two eye color combinations. Probably get more than that, but that's the way my brain works. So we're going to start by taking my eye color brush popping it into the rustic just pat a pat pat and we're going to start with my lid and up into the crease so i'm just going to pat it right on the lid and what i love about these colors is that the formula doesn't have fallout so what i've learned is there's different ways to avoid the fallout okay you can make fallout happen there is no natural fallout. You can make it happen by rubbing too much, um, but when you pat the product, there's no fallout. So I'm gonna switch from my all over color brush now to my crease brush. See that angle? The point goes into the crease and it just naturally gets you the color where you want it. So I'm gonna do that right now so that I can get The color right there in the crease of my eye and really when we say crease it comes up you follow your bone structure and anatomy so it's coming up onto that orbital bone the orbital bones what keeps your eyeball in place so when you use the point of the brush it goes into the see how it goes into there you go into the crevice and then naturally it just gives you the color right where you want it and I'm gonna do the other side. Now, if it's looking bold, don't worry about that. We haven't blended anything. We haven't softened the edges. This is where I was saying too, you could use gold status in these same positions as I'm using rustic, and it would just lighten the look. And then, Crease brush. And your eyes are sisters, not twins. They don't have to be perfectly equal. You just want them to go together. Now, the biggest thing with this look, because I am going to do a flick of the wrist, I'm going to make it a little tail on the end of my liner. I'm going to make sure I stayed inside the lines. I'm going to follow this from my nose to the outside corner of my eye nose to the outside corner and you can see I got a little color too far down here. So the way to get rid of that is take a little bit of eye makeup remover 
And you can do it on a Q-tip. You can use it on a cotton pad. I'm going to grab, I'm going to use a sponge tip because that's what I've got right here. And just go follow the line. And you're going to pull that little bullet extra up. And I'm back inside the boundaries of where I want my eyeliner to be. Pull off the extra um, my makeup remover. Make sure it doesn't sit there. Every color one adhere in just a little bit here. Okay, next thing, final step with the rustic is I'm going to take that brush that I used for the crease of my eye, and I'm just going to use it. I'm going to use it as my liner. Just pull the color across my lower lashes. Okay. All right. Now what are we going to do? Now we are going to pull out our eyeliner brush, and we're going to use the sharp, sharp, precise tip to use our gold status as an eyeliner. So gold status here. Another way you can do this even more sharply is you could wet that brush as you dip it into gold status. I just, but notice I don't rub, I don't pat, I just, or rub, I just pat it in, okay? And now I'm going to go, and I'm just going to use this as my eyeliner. Yeah, you just saw me do that. Water would be better. Okay. Now, as you're doing this, we are also going to line with our eyeliner, our black. And so this isn't, you want to make it a little thicker as you do this. See it there? And then the funky part is we're going to pull this out just a hair. Pull it out just a little bit. Like a cat eye. Now we're going to go to the other side. Same thing other side. Start with my little swoop. Come back and get the gold where I want it. Okay, now with that done, we're going to come in with our black or actually smudge brush and we're going to just smudge that now. And I especially want to smudge that little outside part. Now the thing here, see how that's higher now? What we're gonna do is we're gonna give our little flicks and then when we blend that, all those little flicky parts for the cat eye uh, will connect. I don't like a bold cat eye on my face shape or my eye shape, so I'm just gonna do a little flick um, and you'll see that, but then you'll see how I connect those. Cause you do, you want your eye shadow, you don't wanna end up here and then have a cat eye. That doesn't make any sense. You want that eye color to connect. So. Moving in, this is liquid eyeliner in waterproof black. Check out that tip. This is a sponge tip. Sponge, so it makes applying this super easy. I'm gonna start right at the base. I start in the middle to get my tension level to figure out how heavy handed I am today. Take it to the inside corner and then come the outside 
And you'll notice I'm not drawing, I'm just using the side of that sponge to get it where I want it. Now, to do my little flick, I'm gonna turn my hand the other way. So the tip of this is pointing out. I'm gonna lay it on my skin and I'm gonna use let the tip do the work. So I'm not actually gonna draw on a cat eye or a flick. I'm gonna place it on and following the lid of my eye and the angle of this, it's gonna give me that look. Okay, ready? That's it. Okay, other side. See how easy that was? I didn't draw it on, I just used the tip. Okay, here we go. And then as I get to the outside, switch directions, tip faces out, press it. Okay, and then that one's a little bolder, press harder. So now I gotta go make them sisters, ready? Sisters, not twins, sisters. Don't keep going. Don't try to make them perfect. Okay, from here, they look pretty similar. By the time we blend, it'll be even better. That's the thing about cat eyes. If you try to just keep going and going and going and making them perfect, they're going to be this thick and this long. <laughs> don't want that. You don't want that. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to come in now and blend. And I'm going to start with the top. Soften that top line of the rustic, and then I'm going to pull it down and make sure that it blends and I've got color down into that cat eye. See ya? So, other side, this is, is the one that's the least connected. So, first blend my top edge, and then And down here. And clean up under the cat eye. Better, right? See, see what a big difference that makes? Big difference to soften that edge and get that color down to where your cat eye is. And then you just clean it up, boop, right there. Okay? Now, mascara and our eyes are done. I'm using Lash Intensity Mascara today. This helps your lashes be 400 times more voluminous, 100 times more uh, length, have more, 100 times more length. I'm going to use first the flat side, short bristles, that deposits the mascara on your lashes, and then you pivot it, and you've got the long bristles, and that brushes it out. Okay, so I've got the mascara on there, and now I'm going to brush it out. I'm going to pivot my wand 90%, 90 degrees. I've got my long bristles now. What's your mascara face? All right, there you go. Lash done on one eye. Mascara makes a difference. Other side. Now, this mascara does not have fibers in it, but
because of the because of the um, formulation, it makes you look like, it, it appears like some of those lashes that do have fibers. Sorry, I'm blocking the view. all those lashes there we go now on the bottom i prefer not to use lash intensity on the bottom it um because of the formulation it stays in place but if my eyes start to water the top stays in place but if my eyes start to water and i have it on the bottom it doesn't stay as well for me so i'm gonna go with our water resistant ultimate mascara which makes our lashes look thicker and fuller on the bottom there you go Got a little mascara here over here. Got it. All right. Two more things and we're done. And I'll take my hair down. We've got blush. I've already done a little contouring, a little highlighting. I am going to be using golden copper for my cheek color. I will use the pad of my cheek brush here. Pop tap it right on those cheekbones. Get it on the apple of my cheek as well. Golden copper. A lot of people go to golden copper in the fall because it is a copper tone. I actually really love this color for summer when I want to feel tanned and bronzy but not like I have um, bronzer all over my face. That's one of the reasons, that's one of the times that I'll turn to golden copper. And then with that done, pull down my hair and pop on the poppy, please. This is our semi matte. I'm gonna start with my bottom lip. Whoa. High def color right there. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Let me grab a brush. Okay, so. I'm going to show you a little trick to tightening up your edges. I am using a cream eyeshadow brush. And I'm just applying it to the outside corner of my lips. Oh, with translucent powder on it. Okay. And then buff. The powder off. I did have lip primer on. Before I put on my color. Now I'm going to come back. 
to my brush. And I'm going to use it to help tighten the line. This is especially good for lipsticks that don't have a true match lip liner. So Poppy, please, you could use a coral lip liner or a nude lip liner, but it's not gonna match, obviously, the poppy color. And so, by using the cream color brush, Let's you get in there and have tight control over where you're putting it. And then you get a much sharper line with your lipstick. The translucent powder is going to seal those edges. I've got primer on there to keep it in place. And there you go. We're done. We are done. I think I want a little more. A little more. This is. There we go. My contour. This is something I cannot use. Okay, and then I'm going to take the top edge of my brush. I'm going to pick up a little extra highlighter here. Grab my big fluffy brush again. Make sure my edges are blended. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we're done. Poppy, please. Yes. Yes, please. You got your rustic and gold status on the eye. Got gold and copper on the cheek. And then Poppy, please, as a burst of color on your lips. I love love this eye combination because I took it a little on the funky edge with a slight cat eye. You could totally, if you love a cat eye, take it even farther than what I did today. If you like a more classic look, you're just going to eliminate the cat eye and apply the other two colors the same way that we did. And then you could flip them. Do gold status on the lid and rustic as your top liner. And so, so many options there from classic to funk. And yes, the lip is where it's at. And I know what you're saying. You might be saying, but no one sees my lipstick right now because I'm wearing a mask. I know, but you look in the mirror and you see your lipstick. And right now what I know is I don't want to feel like what it looks like outside. And I don't with this lipstick on. So I'm going to rock a little poppy please today. It's going to brighten up my day. And hopefully that means that I'll smile behind the mask and brighten up someone else's. I hope you have an awesome day. If you love the look, I still have some samples available and can get it to you for you to try at home. Bye.